architecture counters. AGI let us peek into the inner workings of the GPU on Android. One of the most demanding GPU tasks is to fetch and filter textures from inside the pixel shader. The GPU performance counters related to texturing can be grouped into three categories, bandwidth, cache behavior, and filtering. I always begin with looking at texture bandwidth, and the reason is that it's a good counter to make sure that texture that is being transferred to the GPU is not over a certain limit. For example, texture memory bandwidth on average should be below one gigabyte per second and peaks should never exceed six. This game, for example, already blows up the budget. Post-processing steps tend to be a little bit higher and towards the end of the frame, so it's okay to spend some of your bandwidth budget uh, for post-processing. If the color pass of your game has a high texture read bandwidth peak, you might have performance issues to investigate, and that's a case here. To investigate potential bandwidth issues, I looked first at the texture cache misses. Here, for example, the L1 texture cache miss is around 70%, which is very, very high. Anything above 10% is a problem. So my focus is mainly on the texture L1 miss and the texture L2 miss. Here, the percentage of texture stalls is the number of clock cycles where the GPU is waiting for texture data to come in from system memory. And anything above 5-10% is a source of concern. Look at this, this is 20%. So when the texture data is not found in the L1 cache, the request is forwarded to the L2 cache, and then from the L2 cache is forwarded to system memory. Each step introduces more latency, and each step consumes more power. To investigate potential causes of texture cache misses, I look at the percentage of anisotropic filtering texture fetches, which is extremely expensive on mobile. And I also look at the percentage of non-base level texture fetches. If most of the texture fetches happens on the base level, it means that the textures are probably not mip-mapped. To uncover potential low-hanging fruits, take a system trace of your game and compare the values and the trends of your GPU counters to the guidelines we've just given here.